A lot of talk there, Dave. Is there any reason to doubt this pairing? I can't find a reason to. They're excellent players in the prime of their career. They play both ways. If you're going to start with foundational pieces in 2019 NBA, where it's positionless basketball, where you're able to get two guys with that experience they've already had, obviously had to carry teams. Kawhi won two championships. Paul George came you know, just shy of it because of LeBron James with the Pacers. This is a blueprint of how you'd like to start with your two best players. Yeah. I mean, the only reason there could possibly be is to think about, okay, is Paul George going to be on track? Is he going to be healthy? Is he going to come back 100%? Uh, is that going to carry on into training camp? And will that take away some time they have to work on their chemistry? Other than that, I mean, these are two of the best players you could possibly, like Dave said, build a franchise around. And so uh, the only duo we've seen play together, right, is, is that we've been talking about is Steph and Clay. So other than unprovenness, if you want to call it that. That's the only reason I can think of. I mean, and health is a question really for all those duos around the league. And that's the difference now with having two major players on a lot of these contending teams, as opposed to the Warriors where we saw, where, I mean, we saw them sustain a lot of health losses and it finally took, what, two or three of their yeah. major players going down at once for them to lose in the finals. But they could lose a player or two. Steph missed parts of playoff runs, all that sort of stuff. And it was fine when you only have two players on the team like this and the Lakers are in this situation and a lot of other teams now are in the league around the situation. Situation. Um, then if one of those guys has a major injury at some point during the year or during the playoffs, then you're in trouble. I do think the positionless thing is so interesting, though, because you heard them in the interview talking about, hey, I was a little worried on draft night. I mean, it's kind of crazy that these guys, by the way, their lives have intersected. Yeah. They played AAU and, and high school basketball, not against each other, but near and in the same circles. They played college basketball against each other. We have the video. They, play, they were both drafted to the same team a year apart, and, of course, Kawhi Leonard was traded on draft night. But Paul said, I was so worried when they drafted him and I didn't know they were going to deal him because we played the same position and the NBA has changed so much in just the last eight years not only is that not a factor no everyone's like these guys are going to be great together they're, they're great <laughs> basketball fit I also though Dave want to know what the response was in Laker Nation about Kawhi Leonard saying oh it was very very close on some level there was a re relief uh, because you know that they weren't played. That there, there was some concern out there. Like, were they really just brought along for the ride to use as leverage to try to get the Clippers to give up more to get Paul George? On the other end, there's the, the thought of back to the summer of 2018. Mm -hmm. And had they gotten LeBron and Paul George, <laughs> then the big three probably would have come together because, you know, we've learned all about this shared history that Paul and Kawhi had. Had he already been with the Lakers, man, then you, you think about the possibility. But then, you know, one in the hand is better than two in the bush. It's always uh, my thinking. The Lakers went out and got AD, and you know what? They made sure that their summer was going to be a smashing success no matter what from that point. If I time traveled back just, I don't know, even two years ago and told Laker fans, don't worry, in two years you're going to have LeBron James and Anthony Davis, they, they would be pretty happy. So I think everyone across the board can be happy now. It is going to be interesting to see how this Clippos, Clippers duo works out. But again, just the feeling in the room yesterday of things have changed for this franchise. Even if they don't want a title, even if there is an injury, even if something like that, having it be a franchise that people want to be in is such a big shift from the early NBA that I knew. Wow. It's, it's, it's kind of mind-boggling. <laughs>